Hey everyone, welcome back. I am back today with more Rebels, you guys. Last time was really good and kind of eye-opening in like a lot of ways. Um, you know, I love that we can get kind of deep on this show sometimes, um, even in between like a lot of the more fast-paced like action, silliness, etc., etc. I mean, we really can go to some places. We know that, but last time I feel like we just kind of had one of those like we're not as different as we think we are kind of episodes, and it was kind of it was interesting. I'll be very curious to see if it goes anywhere. Um, I will briefly get into how I felt about that episode. Um, before I do that, I do just want to say if you're joining me early today, you know just what that means. It means you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so much. And as always, I'm sending up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, still thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in that description down below. And if you are joining me on those YouTubes, I hope you'll hit like and subscribe for me. Thank you so much for that. Um, so yeah, we had this episode about Agent Callus, who is not as callous as he may seem, you know? I'm not saying he's like, you know, moral good or anything. Like, certainly, I, I feel like the point of the episode is that perhaps there are more shades of gray here than we anticipated. Um, not so much trying to, you know, kind of the opposite of trying to lump something into good or bad. Um, you know, we get to learn a little bit more about, like, what really happened um, with the Lasats? Um, still, I mean, it was still like a slaughter of the people. It doesn't change that, but it does change. I think maybe perhaps a little bit of the perspective um, that you know, like Zeb had on like what was the mentality going in, and we know that like Agent Callus wasn't even really that wasn't even exactly. Um, how he thought the mission was going to go or whatnot. Like, it just, it wasn't as, um, we're the Empire, we do bad stuff, we're coming in, we're doing bad stuff, you know. Um, the Empire itself, I would say, is not good, is an evil organization, is based on tyranny and fear. Um, the individuals in the Empire, I think it kind of depends, you know. I think it varies, just like anything with individuals does. Um... So it's kind of interesting. I also like was kind of like, I'm like, how are you, how are you really doing this to me right now? Because like at the end, we have Zeb's reunited with his friends and I'm like, oh my God, we were so worried. Oh man. And they show up first and everything. And then we see Agent Callus, you know, getting back to the ship, the, uh, the Imperial ship. And, um, you know, the most he gets is like, Mm, Agent Callus, and he's like, you know, on his leg, like, trying to get around, he's like, hey, <laughs> I'm paraphrasing, but, you know, um, there's, uh, there's not a whole lot of, the, the only loyalty in the Empire is to the Empire, basically, like, I get the idea, I'm sure there is some camaraderie to a degree, because, again, it's like you have individuals in one place, like, they're gonna be doing what they do, but, um, I get the idea that, like, the, encouraged mentality is just, you know, friendship is not encouraged. I don't get the, I, I got that idea. Um, I don't think they're big on like friendship in the empire. <laughs> um, so yeah, guys, it was just a really good episode. It was fun. It was eye opening. Um, I wonder if we're going to do anything with Agent Callus in the future. Um, so I guess we'll just wait and see. But for now, I'm very excited to go ahead and get started on the next episode. I said this last time, they just continue to top themselves, and I can't wait to see how they do it today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the next episode of Rebels. Let's do this. Oh, what kind of creatures are these? Okay, so we have some company. Okay, so the Inquisitors found us basically on the new base. The part of secret base is the secret location. No, it will not work out. Where's Chopper? Chopper? He's like, I got better things to do. Whoa! What? What's with the force floaty jumps? I'm face. I don't go for crazy anymore. That's all right. I prefer brains. 
Oh, like actual literal brains. Also, I just, it will always amuse me that that's Sarah Michelle Gellar and that that's Freddie Prince Jr. Ah. Oh. I got you. I got you. God, that was like just in the nick of time. Oh dear God! I don't think we have a choice. Jump! Yes! Oh, he was commu. That's why he said I'm a little busy. I'm like, what is he doing? What is he? Oh my God! After you. Thank you, winged friend. You have helped us greatly. Everywhere we go, we run into those guys, and I don't like it. If How do they always up, we'll never us? be able to help the rebel, but it's endangering the whole squadron. We're Are you? Advice on this. Okay. You know who sh we should go to? We should go to Ahsoka. Multiple adversaries. <laughs> motion. One into the next, into the next, and so on. I've made some adjustments to the classic Form 4 techniques that I think you'll find work well against droids and other ranged attackers. Here, I'll show you. One. He's amazing. I've watched these recordings to help me with my own saber training. You should have seen him in person. Anakin Skywalker. Holy crap! Master. Kanan said he was the greatest. Rarely lost a battle. But what has surprised people was how kind he was. He cared deeply about his friends and looked out for them until the end. Practice these exercises mindfully, and you'll see improvement. I promise. Do you know what happened to him? The last About, time I saw uh, him, he was rushing off. One by one, they were hunted down. By the Inquisitors. Or worse. Speaking of Inquisitors, or worse. Ahsoka, what do you think about- It's times like these that Anakin and I would turn to someone like Obi-Wan or Master Yoda. They always had the answer. Maybe we should go Almost find Obi-Wan. Then maybe we should ask Master Yoda. <gasps> Are we going to see Yoda? You're so kidding me! We're going to- are we going to Dagobah? Oh! Didn't we like see- yeah, cause when we went to Jared, that temple, right? If you and Kanan stand here, you can use the force to open the temple. Okay. I cannot. Why? Huh? Because I'm no longer a Jedi. It was so my choice. I left the order. The force? But baby, you still have the it's force. It's probably best if- Hey. Where's the door going? Huh? Wait, what? Why are they playing the ominous music? So a new door. I guess like a new, yeah, a new problem requires like a new pathway or something. Oh. I doorway. Where? I don't, I don't see anything. Neither do I. Last time we spoke to Master Yoda, we were separated. Maybe this is my what? path alone. Okay, be, be careful. careful. Don't Thank worry. You. I wouldn't do anything you would do. <laughs> That's not how that saying goes. <laughs> but it does make sense. Huh? <gasps> I wondered when you would return. A temple guard. You will die. Your apprentice will become a servant of evil. What are you talking about? Oh, the dark no. side. It pulls at him. It, it we, him. we've Eventually, known that. He will be consumed by it. That's okay. I also feel like it's gonna tell you like your Stand worst aside. fears. I won't let that happen. Okay, this is like this is like a this is like a mission. This is a because we know we know last time we had Ezra seeing like his worst fear or whatever something he had to something he had to conquer and overcome. Oh crap. How do they always think and know where we are? That is so weird. They... <sighs> crap. Oh, we really don't want them. We really... Oh no, guys, this is really bad. We really, really, really don't want them here. Cause didn't they say A last Jedi time? Temple. Yeah, weren't they Their all supposed to been we be there too. Destroyed. So they'll probably try to destroy this one? Yes. Yeah. He taught almost all of the younglings in the temple. 
at one point or another. Can Back in the day. It? Small, green, and, and wrinkly with pointy ears. But he didn't know what he was really like. But when I was young, he seemed happier. As the Clone mm. War dragged on, it changed him. a great burden. Yeah. Deep that one time was ending, and another beginning. Wow. He did have that kind of, remember, what was it, like season six, I think? He had that sort of, he had that, like, journey. Well, I know this place. Huh? Special to you, dude. <gasps> Yoda! Hi, Yoda! Master Yoda, you're here. Hi. Oh, I hear you. Mm -hmm. Last time I couldn't see you. Ah, growing your abilities. Ah. That's right, he was just like a voice. Thank you. It's grandma there. We be strong enough to protect your pupil. Rad in the blue. For your failure. Oh no. Which one are you gonna pick? Which one is us we're gonna pick? I think just to be symbolic. Oh, what are you gonna see, baby girl? What? No, I heard it too. Ahsoka, <gasps> why did you leave? Oh <gasps> yeah, yeah. Where were you when I needed you? I made a this, choice. It's, it's I a vision. Stay. It's not real. You were selfish. No. No. You abandoned me. You oh, stop. Me. This is hurt. This what I've become. <gasps> ah! No! No! This isn't real. This isn't real. It's not real, baby. Sorry. It's not real. It's not real. Holy crap. That's the burden she carries. She feels like it's her. She failed him. She wasn't there for him. And in a way, she pushed him, or at least, at That's the very least, she wasn't there to help him. Join the conflict swiftly, we did. Fear, <sighs> hate. Consumed yeah. by the dark side, but though she and I did not. You were afraid? Yes. Everyone is once in a while. Surprised, are you? The challenge lifelong it is not to bend fear into anger. Yeah, it's what's happening? Listen listen to Yona. The enemy has. Oh crap, guys, get out of there. And they're all separated. Awesome. You cannot fight forever. You're right. I can't protect Ezra forever. No. Not even but. from himself. All I can do is what I've done. Train him the best I could. Right. That's all you could do. And you're doing great. <gasps> by the right of the council. By the will of the force. Kaden Jarus. You may rise. They're knighting him. They're Jedi knighting you, bro. Congrats. What does this mean? It means you're full-blown. It means you are what I once was, a knight of the Jedi Order. No way! The temple is falling. Go. I He's will delay a... the enemy. His force ghost is now a... What was that a force ghost? That was... Wow. Good to know he kind of returned to the light, though, I guess. In death? Malachor. Malachor? Malachor? Who's Malachor? What's Malachor? What happens to Sith in a Jedi temple? Ah, nice! Run the Inquisitor. Whoa. I mean, are they. Is that even real or did. Whoa. Oh man! Did they just like kill them? Ahsoka, what are you doing? <gasps> Master Yoda! Hi! Hi, Ahsoka, good to see you, sweet pea. Oh my god, his theme too. Malachor isn't a person, it's a it's place. Fun. Wait! Is Malachor's not where Yoda went for the like spirit journey? Oh no. Oh no. Oh god no. The Jedi are 
growing in their power. It will be their undoing. Oh, I don't like him in my face. Like, oh no, you're gonna you're gonna end me on that? Really? Okay, I see how it is. I don't even know where to begin. That was phenomenal. Um, I would have been happy with just the one Anakin scene that we got where they're playing back like the Jedi drills, and apparently, like that's that's like a Jedi instructional video, apparently. Like, everyone has seen that, or a lot of people have seen that. Or maybe not. Maybe it's just, um, maybe it's just, I don't know. But it seemed like it was, it was like a Jedi textbook thing. Like, something that everyone learns, that everyone, like, refers to when they're starting out. Um, hearing Ahsoka talk about Anakin, saying that, like, yeah, he was a great warrior, but, like, he was an even better friend, and he was so caring, and he was so loving. It's just, like, and knowing what she knows now. Like, I, I wasn't sure if she, like, knew, knew, but I think it's, I think she fully realizes it now that he's Vader. Um, I don't even know how you begin to, like, live with that. And that one little scene that we got where she has this kind of confrontational moment with the vision of Anakin. We really get to hear her inner monologue about, you know, where were you? I needed you. You failed me. Look what I turned into. You know, the, the burden that she carries, knowing that he became Vader and she wasn't there to stop it. And we saw how, well, I don't want to get too much into Clone Wars. I know not everyone has seen Clone Wars, but... I'll put it this way. Here you can see that she has very clearly chosen um, not to be a Jedi. And you have to wonder how much that makes her second guess herself that like if only she had made a different choice, what might have happened? So I hope this will help her move past that and heal because that's a lot of weight to carry. To think that, you know, I mean, and we've seen this on other series, that those close to Anakin have this overwhelming guilt over, like, what if I could have done something? What if I could have stopped it? Was it my fault? Um, so, yeah. So we had that. That was soul-crushing and also amazing to watch and so well done and just... <sighs> bravo to the voice actor for Anakin that came back and just knocked it out of the park. And we got to see what Anakin would look like in Rebel style. We got to see what Yoda would look like in Rebel style. Who are we missing? We've seen Leia. We've seen a bunch of people now in Rebel style. I wonder if we'll ever get, we might, we probably won't because we know like the, um, we know the conditions that, you know, Obi-Wan has to be so careful, but I would flip out if we ever got Obi-Wan on the show. <laughs> At first I thought maybe like they were going to go see Obi-Wan, but it makes more sense that they would go to the temple and try. And of course I thought about during the episode, I'm like, yeah, probably nobody knows he's on Dagobah. <laughs> so like, never mind Dagobah, but I thought that's where they were going at first. Um, oh, poop. So now they have one of the last Jedi temples. Um, and Vader's there and Vader's, oh, that's really not good. Um, on the plus side, the... Grand Inquisitor seems to have found his true path in, in the light side, um, in, in death or what I'm assuming he's dead and he's just like a part of the, the structure there because we saw him die, but maybe he didn't really die. Maybe he ended up here. I don't know. But I, like, if I had to guess, I'd say he's like a force ghost or something that like now has been rejoined with, with good and, uh, dwells in the temple as a guard. Um, maybe he, was he actually like a guard during, you know, the, the Clone Wars and everything? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Um, but that was great. I'm like, holy crap, that is the last person I expected to see <laughs> under there. Kanan, we saw, got a little bit of, he had to come to terms with like, I can't be responsible for Ezra forever. I could just do my best now. And it's interesting we should have that in an episode where we have people feeling guilty over, you know, Anakin turning to the dark side because at some point you have to really, you cannot control another 
person, you can only do what you can. Um, I think Ezra is going to be fine, but I know for a while they have kind of teased that like Ezra definitely has that potential. You know, we've seen him have some explosive outbursts at times. We know that just in general, you know, training someone very late, it's almost like you need to get to someone before they, <laughs> before they have almost like learned to be a person who is not a Jedi. If that makes any sense. Like you have to get to them very, very, very young, it would seem. Not to say there's no uh, Jedi who have been taken young who haven't become Sith. But, I mean, you know, I'm just thinking back to like Anakin where he was taken around. He was a little bit younger than than uh, than Ezra. But um, I think it maybe it has less to do with when you start training though. Because Luke was way older. Um, and more with just kind of almost kind of like an, an emotional regulation, you know? Um, because what we saw with Anakin is like his passions in a way got so out of control that he ended up turning. Um, so it almost, I think, kind of has more to do with that. So we know that Ezra is someone very passionate and he loves his friends and he cares about his friends. You could You could have said the same thing about Anakin. The problem is when that love stops and possession begins. Like, there's almost, like, a part of um, being a Jedi that, like, with the attachment thing, I get it in a way, but I wouldn't say you can't have any attachments. It's just you need to have healthy attachments, I guess, and just know when to let go, which is really easier said than done because who wants to, like, oh, well, I guess somebody's just going to die. Who cares, you know? Like, it's really easier said than done. Um, and I like that Yoda pointed out that, you know, when they got involved in the war, um, there was a lot of just like, even before, uh, like Order 66 and everything turned, that war had a big effect on the Jedi. I don't know if Jedi are supposed to be like in the, the trenches of war. We see how it's a lot of power, um for one person to have and you almost really have to keep yourself kind of pure in a way you know not to say you're never going to have an experience with negativity or the dark side or whatever but you know just that think of what that does to just your average person you know war is hell what must that have done we saw well we saw we saw firsthand and i'm actually editing some of the episodes in season five right now where it's like oh my god <laughs> this is this is coming apart real fast so of clone wars i mean um so all right guys i've given you my thesis on this i will wrap it up for now but holy crap that was such a good episode um i, I they they just continue to amaze me on the show um Every episode, I love it more and more. So huge, huge, awesome, cool stuff that we got to see Anakin and Yoda and Ahsoka and and do what we did. Um, I guess we'll just see where it goes from here. So I flip and loved it. I think you could tell that by now. I hope you enjoyed watching along with me. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. And please, please, you just never know what this show is going to throw at me. Don't make me do it alone. Please be sure to join me next time. We will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.